Remember, remember, the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason, and pretty little fireworks. Yes, today is the 5th of November, which marks the celebration of the gunpowder plot. But what is the gunpowder plot? Well, I think it's time for... History Lessons with Tom. Yeah! In 1605, James I is the King of England. He was a Protestant man, and he was against Catholicism. A group of Catholic men, led by Robert Catesby, planned to blow up the House of Lords to kill him. One of the men involved in the plot was called Guy Fawkes. He had a very simple job. His job was to guard the gunpowder which was placed under the House of Lords. To not let anyone find it, you know, just keep it safe. There was 20 odd barrels there, and all he had to do was just look after it and, you know, make sure no one comes down and finds it in the cellars. One job. That's all he had to do. He was, of course, found leaving the cellar in the early hours of November the 5th. He was arrested for high treason, going against the king. He was executed in January 1606, and contrary to popular belief, he was not, in fact, burnt at the stake, or on a bonfire, whichever you prefer. He was actually hung, drawn, and quartered, and if you don't know what that is, Google it, because... <sighs> but ever since 1605, we have celebrated every November the 5th, with Bonfire Night, or Guy Fawkes Night, or the Gunpowder Plot Night, or whatever you want to call it, by lighting bonfires and putting a guy on it, which is, you know, like a dummy of Guy Fawkes, and burning it, and celebrating because the king's still alive, and... Yeah. We've been celebrating this for 406 years, and, you know, it's it's great. We, we light bonfires, we set fireworks, which actually started in the 1650s for England. Um, and, you know, we just have a general good time having celebratory things and that. Oh, goody. <laughs>